welcome back to our family vlog channel, Bossy's Life. Uh -huh. And uh, we promised y'all that we would do a Q&A. So y'all asked us a bunch of questions for me, for Terrence, for both. So we're gonna answer them. Forgive me if my ring light is bothering y'all in my glasses, but it has a glare, so just overlook it. Um, so before we get started with that being said a lot of people ask a lot of the same questions so what we are not going to do is repeat questions so we're not going to say who's asked what question we just took all the questions uh got them all written down uh that way we could just run off y'all questions right so we're not going to be like so-and-so asked or whatever because some of y'all asked the same question might have been a different way are you guys going to have a gender reveal do you want a boy or a girl love you guys thank you uh mm, we'll have one on youtube but as far as one with friends and family no we're not doing all that uh-uh second part what, uh, do you want a boy or a girl honestly honestly i don't care now what i like to know what a girl would look like from my husband and me of course i would but honestly i, I really don't care i just need a healthy baby and to make sure i come out of this okay so ditto but i probably would say that i would like to have a girl yeah which i, mean, I knew that but uh I mean, if I have another son, I'm cool with that too, so really don't matter. All right, I'm a single mother. Did it worry you when you and Terrence were dating and you brought him around your girls? So, by the time I got to know him, I wasn't really, and when he first met my girls, we were in a public place with my family. Um, so no, I wasn't worried. Um, I had been with him one-on-one -on -one several times already before he had even met my girls he knew about them of course but um it wasn't what, what was the question was i worried but no i wasn't worried because they were so small i didn't worry about them not liking him or anything like maybe if i hadn't met them now and they're all teenagers with attitudes and everything I then maybe they also might have meant like worried in the fact of like bringing a man around your, your children oh like that um i would say maybe a little bit um just because all they've seen is their daddy and my brothers they haven't seen any other man around them so but i mean i just felt a vibe when it came to him so i didn't really have big worries but you know you have it in the back of your head just a tad bit but not for real no uh, you want me to hear it? Uh, Bossy, why why don't you ever have friends over? Or do you? And you don't blog it. Do you want to answer that first? Sure. Um, I do have friends over, but not all the time at all. Because one, we all have lives. We all have kids or businesses or careers. But trust me, I have friends. I hang out with them. Mainly my cousins come over, but I mean... I have, I have friends, not a lot. I don't fool with a lot of people, but trust me. Okay, second part of this question. Also, how do you feel about women touching your husband? <laughs> because we have a no touch rule that I came up with, LOL, because women seem to just lay in my husband's chest okay. while giving hugs like, honey, no, no. <laughs> the miss don't play that. And I okay. have no problem uh, telling them on stop. Uh, Prayers for a healthy baby and delivery. <laughs> okay. First off, <laughs> don't no women lay their head in, they, in his chest. Don't no women just be touching on him. The only interaction he has with women or his family members or mine that he may hug, two-step with, or even women he two-steps with if we're out. But ain't, <laughs> ain't nobody got to be touching on my husband like that. She said we have a no touch. No. <laughs> and we, we, we have an understanding. And when we go out and if we two-step, you on two-step too close now. You keep that space. Ain't no hands going below the waist. Ain't no caressing, no backs. 
Ain't none of that. Uh, we, uh, we don't really have to worry about that because when we go out together, I don't really two step with other people. Now, Miss here. I do two step. What type of house do you prefer between a ranch style or two story? Uh, I'll ask the second question after you ask um, I don't story. prefer, I don't like ranch style houses. Me neither. That's I'd the one, the one level, right? Yeah. I'd rather have two story a guy. split level home. Yeah. Okay, uh, what is your favorite winter movie? You know, when it's cold it's outside and you just want to relax, lay this in bed Christmas? and watch a movie. The Black This Christmas? And hers is Twilight. It's so. Mine's is Twilight. I said, oh. and the person that asked oh. about is Twilight. <laughs> okay, my bad. Uh, okay, let me read one. Uh, I guess she ain't gonna let me ask. Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. But, I mean, I really don't have a, a favorite Christmas movie or Not winter one that movie. You even grew but up. I know when the season's time is uh, a Christmas story. So, as soon as I start seeing that on TV, I know it's that time. But of do year. you like that movie? Yeah, it's long as hell, but it's cool. Okay. How long have you two been together and why so long to get married? <laughs> okay. Everybody wanna know that question. We okay, so I'm assuming oh. this question is more towards me because Ed always used to get asked in the past. I've answered it before. And she's also uh, cut my uh, response or whatever. And like I always tell her, I told her I would do this one, but to not uh, edit my response because know. you know something and that's the other issue uh, because I might be long with it I'm giving you my answer uh, so it takes my answer out of context sometimes but I mean it, and it really ain't no short answer it's a it's a most of this multiple things for the reason why I waited one First, how long have we been together? how long have we been together we've been together 10 years now we met in 09 uh, we dated for a while, I won't lie, uh, and then we were officially, we met in like the fall of 09, and then by, it was uh, actually August, yeah, by 2010, we ended up together, uh, Uh, so, I, I mean, because I'm assuming it, it got to be for me because, I mean, yeah, I had yeah. to ask her to marry you. So, first off, uh, <laughs> this is good. Like I said, so bear with me. I guess you can cut some of this right or whatever. <laughs> okay, but not, for the longest, I kind of, uh, I, uh, I didn't believe in marriage for a while because of the, basically, people around me. Um... You grow up, people's parents sing together. Uh, you know, mine were together until I was in college and then they separated. And then, uh, you know, you got friends or you know people that are married and you know that the wife is doing stuff or you know that the dude is doing stuff. And it's like, why even, why? you know what I'm saying? Why even do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if I'm happy and what, and what I am, you know what I'm saying, content in, in my relationship, why well, mess that up with legalities or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that was a, a part of it, you know what I'm saying? And then as I got older and then I got, you know, uh, even more and more connected in my relationship, it was like that was something that I needed. Um, secondly, I'm a very, uh, I guess you can say, like meticulous person. So I went to to some extent, I want everything a certain way before I make certain decisions, especially big ones. So I want it to be financially at uh, uh, some point. I wanted us to have certain things. And, and then I also had to realize too that, you know, uh, there ain't no perfect time for a, a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, uh, sometimes you just have to do things and let everything else you know, 
come into play, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I wanted her to have a certain ring, I wanted us to be able to have a certain wedding, you know, all those things. So, all those things play a part in me kind of waiting and trying to get myself where I felt like, you know what I mean? And I wanted to be sure, not to say that I was doing none or whatever, it's just, I really wanted to be sure that I was ready to be married. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to have no slippers. I didn't want to end up being one of those people that I just got through talking about where I felt like, okay, I rushed into something. And you could say, oh, 10 years, that's rough. <laughs> I rushed into something or I did something when I wasn't ready. And because of that, my marriage failed because mm -hmm. I did it too soon before I was ready to do it. So, you know, I mean, I know that was a little long when it would, it wasn't that for the bad, most part. That That's where, you know what I mean? Why? So. Okay, uh, Terrence relationship with your girls. How do you get along? Um, we, we, we gonna keep it funky. Uh, we get along fine. You know what I'm saying? Do we have our issues? Yes. You know, have we had our issues in 10 years? Yes. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, we, you know, it is what it is. Like, they're getting older. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, they starting to kind of feel they yeah. self a little bit, you know, I mean, hell. Especially some in particular. Uh, they shit with their mom ain't always just, you know what I mean? Because that's just teenagers. kids and teenagers. But um, for the most part, we- Initially though. Initially, straight out the, oh, out yeah. the, out the gate, oh, it was great, oh, it yeah. was good. Um, yeah. No issues, it's just as they, they get, get older and they get used to you and they, you know what I mean? And then you, got, you go through the whole, you know, as a kid, you know, like that ain't my, I'm not to say, like, ain't nobody, that, that ain't, you ain't my daddy, just, yeah, but I mean, they go through that, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, it just is what it is, growing pains, I guess you could say, uh, a lot of people had, like, multiple questions, okay, have you two thought about baby names, we ain't gonna get that out yet, but I'm gonna um, say. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. We have our girl name. We've had it since before Talik got was born. Mm -hmm. In case it was a girl, we knew it, and we we're gonna stick with that. Um, boy name. Still up in the we're air. We're going through it with that right now. <laughs> we're just keep it going. Uh, Still up in the air. She does not like the conventional name. I don't want my child being named all <laughs> over the place. Um, so we always will the reason why TJ is a junior right now is because we couldn't agree on the name. Mm-hmm. So it just ended up being and, Terrence. And Jr. while we still on this, I do want to uh, address a comment that uh, <laughs> a question or a comment that was given. I'm pregnant and I get really emotional and in my feelings. So I'm about to state your name as well as <laughs> let you know because I just I can't I gotta get it off my chest for me to get through this. Lovely is her name. Lovely is your name. And for anyone else that would like to know, he is very, he's dark skinned, I'm light skinned. She says, the youngest son looks nothing like Terrence. Was that a break baby or something? Hmm. The older he gets, you're going to be able to see there's clearly no relation, shaking my head. Okay. <laughs> Me and this one have never had breaks at all. He is the father to Terrence and Talik Frazier. TJ looks the splitting image of his daddy. He looks nothing like me. So does that mean he's not my son? Talik looks exactly like his mother that is very fair skinned. It runs in her mother's or her father's family. I have a brother, my baby brother, who is this man's color and our parents are nowhere near this color and we are full blood siblings. He looks like, I look like this and my brother looks like that. I just want people to realize it doesn't matter if a kid is not the same color as the father or takes on more of the mother's appearance. That I think that's what that gets a lot of people sometimes, the whole complexion thing. Yeah, a lot of people crazy. don't understand that. Cause if you, it's, there's pictures of me as a kid that if you've seen looks just like to leak, you be like, okay. But like I said, everybody can be. And I get it. 
And it's not, it's not, it, hey, everybody, it, it ain't the first time we heard that. It's not. Uh, when he was I remember born, when he was at the babysitter, because she came home, and she was like, uh, somebody came in and was like, oh, uh, something like they, they so brothers cute. or something. No, she no. Said, are they cousins? Oh, they, yeah. And then they was like, no, nah, they brothers. Brothers, and it was like same mom, same daddy. And the girl was like, ooh, the devil is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But I mean, hey, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> what everybody needs to do, as long as I believe and yes. I'm content, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all that matters. So, so I can't wait to see what this next baby look like. Oh uh, man. Okay. So, was that right. it? Was yeah. it her question? I don't know if it was. Oh, uh, will you be vlogging your entire pregnancy? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see here. Um, where would you like your next vacation to be? Mm. I kind of want to go to the Cayman Islands. Or even the Bahamas to get that all out of my system because we normally go to beach places. So the, the issue with us traveling is, like she said, my wife. If it ain't really a beach and sand and sunny, <laughs> that, that she really. That don't mean I don't want. To. Like I want it. Not, don't get me wrong. Uh, I love that. I, that that. I, I, my first trip, well, our first trip together was Jamaica. I had already had been kind of planning it or whatever the case is because I was going regardless. I, I always wanted to travel. And I just so happened to find somebody that was willing to travel with me. Uh, so, but with that being said, I love beaches and stuff like that. But I want to go to like, you know, I don't know, whatever. But I want to go to like France and like I really want to go to like Tokyo. And uh, just a bunch of different places, you know what I mean? It ain't always got to be a beach, you know what I'm saying? But uh, would you go to Alaska? Probably not. I had a homeboy that lived in Fairbanks, Alaska, and I was gonna go visit him, but uh, okay. that was rough. Um, but and just to answer the question, I, I want to go to Turks and Caicos probably next. Um, oh, yeah. For a long time, they were saying it was really expensive. It wasn't many. Uh, I like to do all-inclusive trips. That way, I can pay whatever I want to pay before I leave. And if I don't want to pay nothing else, I don't have to. Literally, if I stay on the resort, I'm good. But so that the majority of that's paid for. I always take money with me so I can go and see sites and you know enjoy. Uh, I guess the area or whatever. But. Uh, I, uh, I just recently found out they, that they got some some cool little all-inclusive uh, spots, so I would like to go. I think my next one I would want to go to the Turks and Caicos. Uh, there or uh, like uh, what was it? Uh, I just had a brain fart. My my goal, but I, I probably told myself I would give us maybe like our fifth. Anniversary, something like that, a little way, because this, the, I want to go to the Mal, Maldives, Maldives, or where they got the bungalows on the, uh, what's the name? It's very expensive, mm -hmm. very expensive, but I want to do that. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Have you all thought about moving out of KCMO slash KCK? K -K? Yes. Okay. Uh, before I met her, I was. Oh, getting ready to leave. So, yeah, I think they mean to get. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just saying. But they asked yeah, me, yeah, have, yeah. "Have you ever thought?" Yeah. Like, yes. Yeah, so I've always thought about it. I really, did. for me, I've always been a person that was just like, um, I didn't want to spend my whole. Which I haven't. I've gone to school a couple of different places out of state, and you know what I mean. Lived out of state or whatever. So, but like, yeah. We have now as well. She was like, Ugh. and this was before we were married too. Now uh, I used to say that I'm not leaving this place until she got married. Until I got married, and no, 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 no. But it was and. But no. now that we married, her, no, I would no, no, still no, go. No. I would still her, go. So her thing was she had to be married. That's all she ever said. And if now, as long as my like, daddy. Now we're married, and she's like, no, 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 no. I'm 
go. I would still go. Now she, now we taking him with us. Like, not to be morbid or nothing like that, but she can't go nowhere until like her daddy is gone from us, basically. Or he has to come with us. Uh, uh, like, he so can, he can be around. Basically, she don't want to leave. I do want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is a so. You know what? I mean, not to say that we can take his daddy. Too. We go. I mean, I guess you, it's supposedly you're supposed to go as your husband goes. And I, I will all the but, time. We just you know what I mean. Mr. Khalifa with us. I uh, I do take an account of my wife's feelings or whatever. She's just she's just KC all day. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. I I, I love the town. You know what I'm saying? I I wasn't born here, but I. All my life, you know, so I've been here you, since I was born in South. I was born in South Carolina. Been here since I was one. So I mean, this is all I know. So you might as well say I'm from here. Uh, well, I say I'm from here. But my wife is just this. this she is content. So we we're gonna be here. That that was another thing that was the reason why we was waiting on trying to buy a house too. Cause my whole thing was like, where do we want to be? You know what I mean? So, at this point, we looking into getting the house. So, we're gonna be here. That's a thirty-year mortgage, unless we come into some good money, man, <laughs> buy it out, and then be like, all right, we gonna rent it out or something. It's possible. For, All things for are possible. foreseeable future, we'll be here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. She had another question. Hold on. Other than getting the new home and welcoming the new baby. What is something else you both would like to accomplish as a couple or as a family? Um, as a couple? Us both. For me, I can say us both getting fully healthy. Yeah, I know I was on the keto train 100%. And then baby Frazier decided to make an appearance. Um, and then for my husband as well. My whole Which is family. Crazy. My whole family. Because my whole family to get healthier for me, my weight has always been most of my life up and down, up and down. And even if y'all go and look at like beginning vlogs and you look at them compared to where I am now, I'm at the heaviest I've ever been. Maybe because my wife makes me so happy and I'm not worried about it, but even whatever for years, I've you know, I've lost, especially when I. Do it. I've lost up to like 40 pounds and then end up putting it back on or whatever. And she always just kind of stayed wherever she was at. And then, that, like, other than that, for me, I want us to both hit an 800 uh, credit score. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my, that, that is what I'm trying to accomplish right now. Because I literally want to just be able to sign and go. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to so, be there very soon. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, what do you use to make your thumbnails? I use, let me just get the name of it, because I do forget. I use Photo Grid to make my thumbnails. It's an app you can get, and it's just Photo Grid. All right. How excited was T Fresh about baby number six? All right. I was, I wouldn't say I was ecstatic, I wasn't ecstatic, or nothing, <laughs> but I wasn't like, he as wasn't disappointed. disappointed as she was, which is totally understandable, especially when you just lost 90 some odd pounds and you're feeling yourself, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the fact that you already have five kids. Now, it was more of, a shock for me, you know what I mean? Cause like, this has happened before, but still in your mind, you're like, well, it's not able to, that's why when she initially, well, that's the question later, whatever, somebody, I think. Yeah, so, uh, it was, for me, it, it was, but I was, um, I, I was happy, you know what I mean? It, I got past it a little faster than she did. It was like, okay, it's, it's gonna happen. We, you know, like, cool, let's go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, uh, do you and Terrence plan on buying a house after the baby arrives? 
Uh, and if so, are y'all going to get a house built or buy one that's already made? I would love to get a built house, but more than likely it will be already, already made. made. Um, and we do plan on getting a house before baby comes. If if it doesn't happen, that's fine. It won't be too 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 far off after the baby comes, um, because I can't see myself staying here a whole additional. Yeah. So here's the thing. Here. I know that my wife is ready to leave this house. I'm ready to leave this house. And I really know that she doesn't want to bring a baby into this house. But I will not, and not to say this like this, and not to say this like, but I will not put myself in a bad position of taking a house that we probably shouldn't have took or uh, prematurely getting into something that we probably shouldn't have because of, of just not wanting to be here. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, especially with this type of commitment, uh, this type of finances and stuff that has to go to it, like, this is a decision that really has, you know what I mean? So, even if we are not in the house before the baby gets here, it, it won't be long after. But I, I'm, I, I won't rush a decision like this, you know what I mean? Just for the sake of saying, oh, we bought a house and we got into the, a house before the baby got here. So, uh, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, you know, I'll be all right, I guess. Okay. What was Terrence reaction to telling him you are pregnant again? Uh, will you still vlog after you have the baby? So, <coughs> uh, my initial reaction was. He thought I was pranking. I thought he was. I thought she was pranking me. Real talk. I thought she was trying to come up with like some video idea uh, to. I, I don't know. I just. I'm like, not one seriously. of those YouTubers. Cause all right, look. look this. Let me give y'all the scenario how it played out. I had just been literally on a layoff because GM was on strike. This is my first day back to work. I just literally. She got home. Did I see you that day before mm -hmm. I went to work? Got home, seen her, kissed her. Right, 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 boom, boom. Left out the door. I literally just pulled up to work. Had just clocked in. And we was getting ready to have a meeting because a whole shift meeting because like literally it's our first day back. They're trying to tell us what's going on. Like a lot of information that we needed to get and whatever, getting back to work. And like right before I walk into this meeting, she calls. I'm like, oh, what's up, babe? You know what I'm saying? And she's like, I'm like, like, I'm like, like, slow, slow down. I'm praying. I'm like, I'm like, huh? You know what I'm saying? Because one, like I said, I just got in the building. I'm just, I'm trying to get myself situated. And then, you know, so I'm like, she gotta be like, you know what I mean? Because it, it was like, no, nah, she, she. So I'm asking, and then she like, <laughs> so I get in the meeting. I ain't even focused on the meeting at this point. I'm texting her like, show me the picture of the, you know, test and all this stuff like that. She's showing the picture, and I guess because she got that uh, dollar, that dollar, dollar, uh, dollar tree uh, pregnancy test or whatever, and it looked different than I ever seen or whatever. So I'm like, that ain't no real test. She gotta be, you know what I'm saying? So for two hours, I'm just like. She, so we, I go to break. I even googled the HCG, whatever, what's the name? And just a minute. and then I look and then I call and I was like, All right, I said, Are you for are you messing with me or are you for real? And she was like, I'm for real. So I was like, All right, well, you know, like calm down and you know, uh, we'll work, we'll figure it out. And I was like, You know what, I'm about to just come home. So, literally, my first day to work, I think I worked like three, four hours and I came home. And then once we got home, once I got home, I was like, all right. No, I stopped before I even uh, got home. I got another pregnancy test. Came home, she took that one, boom, right away pregnant. So initially my reaction was I thought she was trying to, she was playing. But lo and behold, baby on the way, so. And oh, and yeah, yeah. we plan on blogging. Blah, blah, yeah. That's the so. Um, how old are all your kids? So, my oldest is 15. 
Um, the second is 13, the third is 12, my fourth is eight, and my fifth is five. How, how far apart are your first two daughters? They're two years apart. 